Welcome to the students in the Dawson College Computer Science Technology course, Hardware and Software. This screencast will discuss the tools you will need for this course. It was the psychologist, Abraham Maslow, who coined the phrase, I suppose it is tempting if the only tool you have is a hammer to treat everything as if it were a nail. Well, in this course, the saying that we will follow is, you're only as good as your tools. The tools we need will allow us to work with the various screws that are used to assemble a computer. In this image from the Metal Screw and Supply Company, you can see the different types of screws and screw heads. The screws that we will use are either metal screws that hold the case together and machine screws that are used to fasten components in the case. Screws also have different patterns in their heads and the heads are different sizes. It is the head and its size that determines what tools we need. You will need four screwdrivers. These are a 1 8 inch or 3 millimeter slotted screwdriver, a 3 16 inch or 5 millimeter slotted screwdriver, a number 0 Phillips screwdriver, and a number 1 Phillips screwdriver. There is no metric value for numbered Phillips heads. You can buy individual screwdrivers, a kit of different screwdrivers, or a set with interchangeable tips for a screwdriver handle. One important factor is the size of the handle. Too big a handle and you can over tighten the screw and damage the computer. Too small a handle, such as found on jeweler screwdrivers, make it difficult to sufficiently tighten or loosen a screw. Look at the set of tools your teacher has for a sense of what the right size is. The last tool that you will need is a long-nosed plier, also called needle-nosed pliers. This style of plier is useful in picking up screws that may have fallen into the case. A plier with a spring mechanism is the best type to get. You do not have to spend a lot of money. The screwdrivers I use cost about $5 each and the pliers were $7. Avoid deals where you can get everything in a kit for less than $10. Cheap screwdrivers have poorly made tips that can damage the screws. As a programmer, you are not normally expected to be building or repairing computers. But there are times it will be necessary, and having the right tools will make the job go smoothly. Oh, and avoid hammers. <laughs>